themes control a lot in a Word document. You might be familiar with themes from PowerPoint. They change the whole look of a PowerPoint slide. They do something very similar inside of Word. In fact, if you create a custom theme, which we'll do in this video, it would even be available to not just PowerPoint, but other Office products like even Excel. Themes are found at the beginning of the design tab over here on the far left. And the default theme is going to just be uh, Office. That's the default theme, the name of the default theme, unless you've changed it. If I slide over these other themes, notice the big changes to the document. The font changes, the color might change, uh, the, the, all the heading changes. Actually, the spacing can change. It might get closer spacing or a bit further apart. If I scroll down, the themes go on and on. And I can even browse for themes that might be stored elsewhere out on the network drive. But if I just choose a different one, maybe I'm like, well, I'm okay with it, but maybe I want a slightly different version by choosing a different style set, or I could go to colors and switch it up to a different color combination. I could go to fonts, change it to a different font combination, and paragraph spacing would allow me to get different spacing in between the, the lines of my paragraphs. Ultimately, now I have this actually new version of the theme. It's not what I started with. So if I were interested in keeping this, reusing it easily, I can go back to themes, save current theme. Notice there's also reset to theme from template. I would go back to what the original theme choices were, but I'm going to plunge forward, save current theme, and now I just name it. Now you do want to keep it in this location if you want to easily see it and not have to browse, but you could store it anywhere. I'm going to call this AA theme. And now if I were to go to any Office product that this computer is associated with, I'm going to see this theme and I could use the same font choices, the same color choices, especially if I've worked to create this very specifically for a certain purpose. But it's showing up at the top here as my custom theme. We hope this video helped. Make sure to click the thumbs up and click the subscribe button right here. And click the link above to check out our Limelight classes, a free virtual live training. See you in the next video.